all right people what's up everyone and welcome to another video and sorry for the hair i just got a shower so excuse me princess it's not quite dry so it looks weird but uh i have yet to look at a single review for red dead redemption 2 which i'll be picking up later tonight which i'm very excited i'm also picking up the my hero game which i don't even know when i'm gonna play that but i'll be picking that up as well uh, maybe i'll play that one first and then dive into Red Dead. Who knows? But anyway, I am very excited for tonight. It's gonna be, it's gonna be thick. I, I'm so excited to get that game. Of course, I've been waiting years for a sequel to Red Dead Redemption Two. I mean, Red Dead Redemption One, or I guess Red Dead Two technically, because this is the third game in the series. Whatever. Because I played the original Red Dead Revolver back when it first came out. I love that game. But whatever. Uh, I am excited to check out the reviews i thought it'd be kind of fun to see my first impressions uh, i'm gonna look at metacritic and open critic and uh both of them are great i'm going to also I'm gonna give a prediction out for metacritic i'm gonna say a 98 i'm going that high because i think that's what gta 5 was originally when it first the review started first coming out uh, and then it dipped down to like a 97 i believe uh, 96 maybe um but i'm gonna say 98 uh open critic i'm gonna say 97 i always say that's a, a point down just one point down so there you go that's my predictions let's check out what they are so let's go over here let's put metacritic metacritic all right here we go <laughs> okay that's one thing i hate that metacritic does now they just straight up put the big thing on the on the front page but holy shit 97 close pretty close one one point away um i wonder if uh when the reviews started first coming out if it was at a 98 and then more reviews started coming out in the last couple hours and it went down but that is incredible let's go over here and let's take a look at them real quick one more nope Shh. be quiet all right wait let me, let me switch this hold on let me uh do this let me do that excuse me part of my dust all right that goes all right so we got closer okay holy shit all right. Oh, you know what? Let's look what it is on Xbox One. One more big score. One more big score. I got it. I nailed it for the Xbox One. <laughs> Let's go to PS4 again. Don't say one more big score. I swear to God. One more. All right. Who? Easy Allies gave it a 10. Nice, nice. Red Dead Redemption 2 tests the boundaries of interactive immersion. Few games look this good, play this well, and have this much to offer. It begs you to slow down, turn every page of its dramatic tale, and savor every last breathtaking detail. It challenges you to prepare, be prepared for anything and make the right decisions where your choices matter most. Arthur Morgan is the lead, but the world takes center stage to pull you in. With a list of challenges left to finish and an online mode launching soon, we plan to spend a lot more time in Rockstar's unparalleled recreation of the Old West. Shit. I love Easy Allies. Those guys are great. Um, let's see. What did I Jane give it? I guess. If I want to give a shit. Sorry. I just woke up too. So my eyes are. Game Informer gave it a 10. IGN Italia gave it a 10. I'm assuming IGN gave it a 10. God is a geek gave it a 10. IGN gave it a 10. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is a, rare, uh, is a game of rare quality. A meticulously polished open world uh, uh, ode to your at your area. <laughs> at first I thought it said odd I was like wait what <laughs> again I just woke up so my vision's not the best I woke up went in the shower and then did this video mm -mm. Mm -mm. so the lowest score is the 7 out of 10 who wants to murder slant magazine with me let's go no I'm just kidding I haven't even played it I can't I can't say I might agree with that who knows you might have to murder me along with Slam Magazine. Who knows? Red Dead Redemption 2's evocative, often beautiful sense of place exists in so far as it is still convenient to the player, which harms some of the desperation and hardship the game means to convey. And here's all the ones that haven't been up yet, Kotaku. But there is a pulse pumping through this techno artistic marvel. The game has heart. The game eh, is one of about terrible people. Okay. All right. So there's a lot of Junquisition. Eh, what do you give it a 2 out of 10? Say it sucks. It's inspired. Eh, nah, nah, nah. Okay. Whatever. All right. So there you go. That is uh, Metacritic. Now let's go to Open Critic. See what that is. I'm sure it's going to be very similar. I can't see the score right now because my. OBS is in the way. Oh, there's no score yet. Read reviews, yes. All right, at least that doesn't... 97. Oh, okay. So I nailed it here, technically. Wait, what console is this for, though? 
This is just all together. I think this is all together. All together. Yep. One strong review. One fair review, which is the slant one. But there's only one strong. I guess it's that 8 out of 10. Look at that. Holy shit. All right. So, yeah. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. So, there you go. That is the Red Dead Redemption 2 reviews. Uh, I'm hyped. I'm going to be seeing a couple movies in the theater. And then I'll be heading over to uh, GameStop and pick it up. Picking up my copy. I already have it uh, pre-ordered, paid for, and all that. So, I'm excited. So, there you go. That is it. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank, thank you. Oh, God. Until next time, I got the hiccups now. <laughs> Goodbye.